Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Hemant Kurke. Uh, I am here to teach you uh, Japanese language. So first, I will just introduce myself, my background, and all. I have completed my Bachelor of Science in 2002. After that, I have around uh, 16 years of experience in various organizations. A uh, few of them I worked for uh, Japanese organization. Few of them was uh, basically related to the uh, U.S. organizations. And as of now, uh, I am working as a full-time trainer uh, in the Japanese language. I taught uh, many students uh, in few years. So today we start learning the Japanese language. Okay. So before that, we we'll some we have just uh, I have a piece of information to reasons to learn the Japanese language. I will share those reasons with you. The topics to be covered today are like this. The reasons uh, to learn the Japanese language. The first point would be the career scope. We'll discuss about the career scope for the Japanese language. Work or study in Japan. So demand of Japanese translation and interpretation. Uh, low competition. Okay, the similarities in Japanese and Indian languages. Uh, aging factor. The next point is Japanese companies' investment and future opportunities. Okay, so coming to first point, the career scope of learning Japanese in India. So as you know, uh, there are many Japanese companies are already invested. They are already working uh, in India. So if you look around, you have the Japanese product like we have. We were we have Honda in our home. Honda bikes, Honda cars. We have Toyota. So I just choose these are simple examples of the company, simple company names, which we are already using it. So Mitsubishi, Toshiba, then there are many more names which are uh, already invested and working in uh, India. So they have lots of investment in India. However, what is the scope here? So if you want to work in Japanese company, then basic and main criteria is the language. If you know the Japanese language, you will have a great good opportunities in this company companies okay and since april 2019 they have made some change in visa program they allowing more foreigners to work in japan to study in japan after learning language what will be the job opportunities what kind of what profile jobs you will get Okay. The first is bilingual translation and interpretation. Translation and interpretation is basically means to translate a document from English to Japanese or Japanese to English. Opportunities in teaching and training uh, students and working professionals. So in these are the opportunities where you can work in company as well as a or Japanese organization or Indian organization as a trainer or teaching kind of profile. Okay. Job, jobs in embassies okay. in every state most of the states in, in india we have japanese embassies we have openings over there as well in aviation industry the cabin crew on many more stops they need a japanese language import export industry okay. hospitality to tra traveling industry work at a japanese clients okay so here japanese company have their own setups in india so they need some people who can directly work, who can directly coordinate with the Japanese clients. IT sector, this is the most moving sector as of now. As you know, there are many more Japanese companies already invested in Japan. Even if, uh, even that as well, Indian companies also have Japanese projects where you can get uh, opportunity uh, to learn this. Work in Japan, this is the most uh, demanding now, nowadays work or study in japan so after here there are some study programs uh, in japan so you can do the ms in japan there are some university japanese universities are offering their scholarship programs to the uh, students all over the world for that you need to clear the entrance exam then you will get an opportunity to uh, learn in the japanese university well they offer the different different scholarship programs it depends on the course and universities. Okay, the so working is the very demanding as of now. Uh, as you know, there are shortage of laborers. We'll discuss 
about that product uh, part as well. So you will get after completion of your study in Japan, immediately you will get a job over there. So job opportunities, uh, job opportunities are very well uh, in Japan. Okay. The scope of Japanese translator interpretation and trainers in India. So where I can see uh, as there are many uh, mechanical industries or automobile industries like Toyota, Honda, Suzuki, they are working in Japan. So that time when some Japanese clients come from Japan and they need to coordinate with the Indians, like uh, Indian uh, persons like us or the Indian employees, we can say, they need someone to communicate to as a mediator. You can say that person as a, a translator or interpreter who can convey the message from who can be a mediator between both of them. Okay, so this is part of the job of the translator and interpretation. Okay, I will say the next point is low competition in Japanese language. If you look at the train, most of these schools, you can see the school which are around you, which where are you all. The students in your family are going. So most of school are teaching European languages. They are not much. You will not find much students who, uh, who you will not find much schools who teach the Japanese language. So because of that, there are very less number of resources available for Japanese language. So there is a very low competition in Japanese language because of this reason. So next point will be similarities in Japanese language and Indian language. So when I say the similarities, the first important point is the sentence construction. Okay, sentence construction, the word sequence of Japanese languages like Indian languages or when I say Hindi or Marathi like that. So uh, for example, when I say, when I introduce myself, I will say I am Hemant in Japanese. Okay, uh, in Hindi I will say Me Hemant Hu. In Japanese, I follow the same sequence as Hindi, Watashiwa Hemantes. So that is the sequence is same in Indian languages and Japanese languages. Hence, it is become an advantage for us to learn this language. Okay. So next point is the aging factors and the Japanese economy. So this is again a very uh, major factor. Uh, of, of in the we have got an opportunity because of this factor as well. If you say, if you see the birth rate in Japan is continuously declining. Okay. The birth rate of Japan is in minus figure, since few years. And one more part is about the senior citizen. There are about 30 to 40 percent of population which is older, we can say, which is more than 60 years of age. So these population are not that actively working in a company journey. Or in, a, or, or in an organization. So here, there is a shortage of labor, labor shortage in Japan. So to fulfill those labor shortage, they, what they are doing, they are outsourcing work to countries like India, China, Korea, Indonesia, or they are hiring people from outside countries. So this has become a major factor uh, we, because of which we get an opportunity. So that is what for today if you have any doubts or queries regarding this session please connect to me or uh, your through urban pro i will be glad to help you all so stay safe and stay healthy thank you so much